When is hurricane season? What are hurricanes? I live on the Eastern Shore. Should I be prepared for hurricanes? My name is Delencia Jenkins and I'm a geography and communication student at Salisbury University and I'll be answering all these questions and more coming up. showing all the freezing temperatures across the continental U.S. Almost every state has a freezing temperature within the state lines. Of course, Florida is the exception uh, here as they are very warm for a February morning. Taking a look closer to home, we have a feels like temperature in the mid 20s. So make sure you exercise caution on the roadways, especially when you have a storm system like this in the region. This is what's creating the snow that we see outside. So uh, if you're in Salisbury, uh, parts of uh, Dover even, you're seeing snow. Those farther south, you're seeing a wintry mix or even rain. Water. Hurricanes have three main components to them. The first one is the eye. The eye of a hurricane is considered to be the center of the storm. When hurricane hunters fly into the eye of a hurricane to gather weather data for forecasters, they will usually find calm and clear skies within the eye of the storm. And if you are driving to work today, you might notice that it is chilly outside and want to turn that heat all the way up. Almost the exact same path that the uh, previous front had, bringing even more cold air uh, from the north and kind of set up the atmosphere for this rain event uh, to our south. So this rain event is going to progress our way. This is our Sunday map. We're still under high pressure for the majority of Sunday, but as we move into the evening, you'll start to see some clouds moving in. And this is our Monday map. So the rain snow line since yesterday has shifted farther to the north. So it does look like we'll have a, a rain event here on the Delmarva Peninsula. And looking across our nation, pretty much everywhere has a chilly start as well, except for those to the south of us, some places even reaching 70 degrees. So if you want a quick vacation, I say go to Florida because it is looking beautiful for a January morning. Good morning and welcome to Shore Weather. I'm student meteorologist Alencia Jenkins and take a look at these temperatures across our nation. These temperatures are evidence of a deep trough that we have in our jet stream bringing cold air from the north even into parts of southern Texas. So they're seeing Freezing Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm student meteorologist Alencia Jenkins and right now I am in front of the Guerrero Academic Commons on the Salisbury University campus and right behind me we have Route 13 which is looking pretty good right now. There is some slush on the roadways. Uh, we did have see some uh, plows plowing the northbound lanes. They have yet to come and replow the uh, southbound lanes as of right now. Um, Once a storm exceeds tropical storm strength, it is then called a hurricane and is placed into one of five categories on the Safford-Simpson wind scale. The Safford-Simpson wind scale takes the sustained winds of a hurricane and places it into that respective category. Or anything, just a little cloud cover. Our next weather maker though is this cold front that's over the central plains right now. It is going to move across our area on Friday, you see. Um, we may have some chances for rain into our overnight hours, even into Saturday as that uh, front moves off our shore. That same body of water is just too warm for us to see snow yet. So when we do have a snowstorm coming in from the west, by the time it makes it over that body of water, it turns that snow into rain. So the next time we have a high chance for snow, those temperatures are going to be a lot lower. Laura's eye is more defined than Katrina's. Also, Laura is a slightly smaller storm, which in this case made it spin faster due to the principle of angular momentum. This principle is easier to imagine if you picture a figure skater spinning faster as they tuck their arms closer to their body. Tuesday, we may see some flurries, but more than likely that rain snow line is going to stay more farther to the north. And then we're going to have a quick break from all the rain as we have some high pressure um, over our region. And then we have another storm that is going to move our way. This is our next chance for a snow event here on the Delmarva. But it is important to know how to operate your portable generator. Never, 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 never run your generator indoors. 
you and your loved ones could die of carbon monoxide poisoning. The front is going to start making its way into our region and on Monday and Tuesday I have snow, question mark. Uh, so will it be on Monday or will it be on Tuesday? That's another big question as well, um, along with if it will be rain or snow.